are here in Seventh Avenue where we are having our charity run under the Global Health Tokens Initiative. We are about to get to work. And I think they, they are missing something deeper that I, I that is present in young people as in Bari. They've got that in young people here. You know, I, I, kids and them, young people and them will grab anything basically. They, you could post something on WhatsApp and say there's an opportunity. People will grab it. But they also haven't lost the basics, right? And them, young people, good morning, good afternoon, you know, prayer. You know, when we often have our Zoom sessions, we start those with a prayer. And guess who's kicking off with the prayers? They are young people, so there's there's definitely something in that evidence that you can have it, or you can have all the games, all the Nike trainers, or you know you can even have the cars, whatever it might be. But if you're missing something deeply spiritual and a sense of belonging, an identity, and I think identity is a big one, um, it's it leaves a huge, huge gap. Uh, a champion is someone who stand or advocate for something. For example, as we advocate on uh, sexual healthy, uh, mental healthy, and also stand uh, for those that are in need, for example, the grandmothers and the child-led families. A champion is basically a youth, a member of the youth who is a part of the Mbari community who helps through the Global Health Workers Initiative uh, other people who are from dis like disadvantaged communities or are coming from disadvantaged families. And what we basically do is we try to assist them with like commodities or like groceries, but these are uh, given to us by well-wishers from uh, either in the UK or parts in Zimbabwe, those who are privileged, so that we can give those who are disadvantaged. And also we help them uh, in like in re relation to their mental health and also teach them about COVID-19 awareness and stuff like that. So that's basically what a champion is. Okay, so now we are going to start our distribution. Chetanga na Gugu, Chetanga na Gugu, 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 but I'm also driven by this um, desire that we all have to see a better world. And then we ask ourselves, well, if I want to see a better world, what is my, what is my corner? You know, well, how can I contribute to this? And some do that by telling stories, and some do that by helping others. And I think to me, it's, it's this, this journey of mental health, of trauma, um, um, and a wider sort of journey around climate change. I'm doing quite a lot of work around that at the moment. Really, and that stems again from growing up in Chota, in some very rich lands, uh, being connected to the soil. Uh, and the soil looks very basic to us here, but in Zem, the soil is something that touches your feet, right? You walk bare feet, intentionally walk bare feet, because your feet literally, it's like your, your ancestors are literally sort of bouncing into your feet. Rich um, soil. Yes, yes, and this healing, it's not unusual for uh, parents then, if you were ill, they might ask you to put some sand, or if you're actually, this is a tradition, if you arrived in, in a new town or something, they'll, they'll say go there and pick up some sand and put it in water, and then drink it, it means that your body is familiarizing yourself in that context. So, I, and I think the older I'm getting, the more I'm really becoming deeply connected um, with that spiritual space, um, 
that that grandmother's voice and those little traditions that you watched your grandmother do and you thought they were really weird but I find myself kind of sort of doing little rituals that um, bring richness to me um, so and, and I think you know this deep connection this is what the pandemic has done it's reduced our trouble but it's made us that much more connected to that space and maybe appreciate it that much more because um, where we're not taking everything for granted. We were taking so much for granted and I don't take anything for granted because our lives are fragile. It can all drop in one second. <laughs> so easily these days. So where we used to have an atete and an asiku, um, we don't have a lot of that anymore these days. We have a UK, Tatora, no, 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 what's up? We are always going to grow this galaxy. We are going to grow this galaxy now as you grow to know it. So now there is that cultural gap. And it's very important for organizations like this to hold conferences like these for the youth to cover that gap. You can deal with it this way, sexually you can deal with it this way. So these are very, very important platforms and they are very edifying to me to be part of them because as you teach and talk about your experiences, you are also learning from the audience. So I, I give my absolute support to programs like this and I hope we have a lot more and we are able to reach many, many more youths. I would say that yes, there were a few challenges I faced from the family like it's something that I ventured into when I was very young. And at the time I was actually supposed to be doing something else, but I actually took time off and then I committed myself to the project. So at first people would be saying, ah, what are you doing? Do you even see yourself? Where are you going? Like, is there anything that you're benefiting? Is there anything that you're getting? And I was like, no, let me just give it a try because it's something which I fell in love with, something which I told myself that I was passionate about, something which I said that, yes, I'm going to do it. And through this project, I'm going to go out there. I'm going to make a change because mostly for me, it's something that I wanted to do to change the lives of my fellow ones. As a way, we all grew up in different situations at home. So back then it was a big challenge for me because I had to go against most of the people who were telling me that no, you can't do this and I'm like, no, I can't do this. But at the end of the day when they were seeing the results and the work was being done and implemented, it's something which they also grow in love with, something which they are now like pushing me forward to go on and do it like and as long as it's making you happy. So yeah. Mm -hmm. 
The happiest moments I, I have experienced have definitely been when I'm connecting with communities. And um, here in London, when I've been connecting with families who are deeply vulnerable, and um, you are able to make connections with those families who are stigmatized and, you know, are said to be dangerous. And But when you're able to walk through that door um, and use your skills, very kind of sort of emotional skills to connect with communities, I think it's powerful. But also to be able to influence um, the outcome of somebody who's coming from a place of vulnerability, um, wherever that might be. And there are many places of vulnerability and able to see them through a journey um, in which they come out the other way, I, I think. Those are moments that, that keep us going. But a struggle in my dad of final year because now I'm a single mother. And the challenge you could see, my dad's and I got on board this in single but here for my project because they're sure the channel face I say I'm one goodness and diaries. But thanks to Lynn, na Docker's senior, they came to work out your one day. I got a name, I got up to you know, you issue a child to take a mirror so, but as you as you get to the girl, my shoe. You can move on because that's the life, not real life. So building my friendship, through lean, I can't go on the doors, I have to so give it up, let's go on, move on. If I find a problem, I can go out to lean. I mean, I can't see anyone, any member, I can't see so. They can assist me with the concept of a positive mind rather than with damage go big forward or red and that. So, the concept of building more friendship, no one will wonder. And also, the battle in any personal equity, less time young, less time young, and fingers are going to go under. Connection of the future, but that's what they saw. Yeah, maybe two minutes, no one will go to him, but most of the time, I'm wasting my time. But then they say, it didn't even cause the gutter not certain. And the gutter of Funga mostly could have the day and then bring the one wrong with it. Maybe because for my brother, I thought, ah, I know what to say when I walk and go for this season. I could see another year for you. But I want to I managed to concentrate on each quarter, then I finished my degree, the governor go percent the final year power. Well like I say in Rimuno are too much isolated. Uh, I don't like to share things most often. Sometimes I affect a phone going somewhere. What's in the room? I'm the night guy. The photo guy, I'm doing my own thing alone. So imagine someone as you share a story. The same issue you go through. 
in hours, I, I felt relieved because the Ghanaians will feel like ah, I'm not the one to going through this. So, Daga Bandari lived well, through all those workshops. Yeah. Ama workshops are going to be able to share the money. Unofana kushe ya ma problems ako. Usangu ma chenge tawe gakozi. Uka ma chenge tando pakuzo kanga sika pepfungwa pakuzo funga sunjake pakula kushura yaga na kudaita se. Saka ma workshops haya kaya. Haka ndi batiro kutimunu. Uka taura at least uno batirika uno no ma idea za kita se. Haka want sinu kubatira. Endo uno ende muku taura ka chero vanu haka sa kubatira nuku no changiru vanu ma specialist. Ano pamoja na sisi kubati la ndege shaka pasha chundi moja tiveta au kutindi de kuba mungu eva na kubati la van ni mtindi rimu na kubati rik. Ah, personally, I was one of the people who could tiba no fungi sisi and when the trouble comes, tiba no we could everything breaks. We could you see like manguana kuna chiri ko. But with this, I have understood how people handle these matters. We could meet well with. Uh, you know, to cover the sugar, so I can now manage my temper. The cats are my anger, but then now I can help myself cool down, relax, have time to meditate, reflect on everything that is happening. I can tell you, could you get better if you do so? I have discovered that people are living very different lives. There are so many people who are privileged and there are so many other people who are not. And it's very important for us to understand that, like these disparities, like we need to understand that we are not all equal. Of course we may push for equality, we may push for, for equal opportunities and stuff like that, but the fact of the matter is we are not equal. And it's important for us to help those who are feeling disadvantaged in the communities, right, that we are coming from, so that they can experience like peace and happiness and joy as well. Because And you don't necessarily need to have it all figured out. You don't necessarily have to have uh, a lot of money or a lot of influence. Just what you can do, then like if you have something that you can do to, to help put a smile on someone else's face, then go and do it. And I've also learned that mental health is very very real like a lot of people don't understand like the depth of it like we could be living with mental health illnesses but not know and then we just you know accept them and then assimilate them into our personality and just feel like it's okay to be like that but I feel that we need to bring more awareness in, in, in relation to mental health because mental health is a real issue okay um, I'm very grateful to um, ZHTS for their support supporting this uh, work. Um, um, children and I are very, very grateful to Britain, um, Zimbabwe Society, who support this work, and the Business Council for Africa, who all sort of fund the work that we're doing on the ground today. And also some phenomenal supporters behind that, um, Dr. Um, professors, actually, Professor Simkai Shigudu, uh, Diane Jetta, uh, who's amazing, Zed Sibanda, who's absolutely amazing, Dr. Knox Chitio who has been phenomenal in supporting this and many, many, many more. Um, thank you for all you do to support us as African women. <laughs>